In 1787, Jacques Charles observes the relationship between volume and temperature of a gas. The volume of a gas is directly proportional to the temperature of the gas. This simply means that an increase in the temperature of the gas will result in an increase in the volume of the gas. And vice versa. A decrease in the temperature of the gas will result in a decrease in the volume of that gas. Furthermore, we can divide both sides by the temperature and get the ratio of volume over temperature. This will always yield some constant. We'll call that constant B here. Recall, gases depend on pressure, temperature, volume, and the number of moles present. Let's assume the pressure and the moles are constant. This ratio must always be constant. Thus, if there's a change in the volume or temperature, the product must remain constant. This is called Charles's law. Also of note, the law is true for temperature in Kelvin. In this example, a 3.0 liter sealed balloon at 23.0 degrees Celsius is cooled to 5.0 degrees Celsius. What is the new volume of the balloon? The first thing I'll notice is that I'll have to convert the temperatures. I'll first convert the temperatures to Kelvin by adding 273.15 to each Celsius temperature. The initial volume is given in the problem, and I'm looking for the final volume. Pressure and moles are not mentioned, so I'll assume that they are constant, and I'll use Charles's law. I'll multiply both sides by T2, and this will cancel the T2 on the right side, leaving V2 by itself. I can insert my values into the equation and see that the final volume is 2.8 liters. This makes sense. As the gas is cooled, the volume decreases. The volume is directly proportional to the temperature. 